Hey everybody, this is Ben from UtahCafeRacer.com and today we're going to be working on a couple things. Hopefully making it through carburetors, complete, completing the teardown, and beginning the rebuild process. Also completing the teardown of brake calipers and and then there was one other thing we we're looking at um, which eludes me at the moment. I think either the fender we're going to be uh, uh, marking for uh, trimming down or something else. So anyway, um, <clears throat> one of the things that's been brought to my attention uh, carburetor wise by my buddies at uh, Salt City Builds is that uh, there can at times be leakage in here uh, in the uh, the seals around the butterfly valve so or that that uh, deal with the mechanism around the butterfly valve and so I'm going to tear these down the rest of the way just check things over and if all looks good then I'm going to start a building so here we go all right so I'm starting the tear down of uh, the carburetors here the, fi the final part and there's something I wanted to bring up and it's called Japanese International Standard now if you look here at the butterfly valve you'll notice that uh, the screw head here that's holding this place it uh, the the, uh, the uh, um, paddle thing there in looks like a Phillips head screw where in fact it's actually a Japanese international standard now I noticed as I was tearing these carbs down a lot of these screws were just stripped all to crap and as I investigated a little bit further it was on the Yamaha-triples.org forum where they brought to light hey these aren't Phillips these are actually Japanese international standard so I purchased one of these uh, drivers uh, um, off of eBay but the manufacturer is uh, Vessel I believe anyway so this one it, it, it's it's got a combination thing or of, of heads but uh, imp most importantly it's this uh, special Japanese international standard type head and I mean you know looking at them compared to like regular uh, screwdriver or American version you can't. It's, I mean, it's really hard to tell the difference. But uh, um, the the real difference is one has a tapered. I, and please correct me if I'm wrong, but one has a uh, more of a taper than uh, than the other. So anyway, um, I just tried it here on the carb, and it worked out great. So I'm gonna continue. Okay, so the finer workings of this carb have been removed here and what I was looking for specifically were these little seals or I don't think we call them gaskets but little seals anyway um, I've been told that the, when these get dried out, cracked, uh, damaged in some way you can have leaking uh, occur that is just a pain in the butt to track down so anyway check these out they look pretty good so next I'm just gonna clean everything back up and start reassembling Yay! all right rebuild is going along pretty good here as you can see um, this right here contains uh, the, the floats and the pilot jet and such and such needle valve well, okay, we won't get into too many details, but uh, anyway, ran into a rather funny snag. So this right here is the air jet for the uh, the, uh, the pilot jet. Yeah, right. And <clears throat> we've got here's the replacement right here, and here is the original. Now you know, put them by side by side. They look like, hey, you know, they, uh, they're they pretty much the same. Well, go ahead and put it in, and eh, eh, it don't go in. So I had actually heard about this on the Yamaha Triples forum 
but uh, thought they were referring to a different uh, jet. So what we're going to try doing, my dad came up with the idea of turning it on the lathe. So what he's going to do, screw this right into a nut here so he can check up on it and uh, turn it down just ever so slightly so we can fit it in here. Now if that doesn't work, okay, you know, that's cool. I've still got the old one and it's, it needs a little love, but uh, it, it should be okay. So, anyway, prog making progress is just, as always, taking longer than usual. Okay, boys and girls, so, um, <laughs> six hours later, I got one together. <laughs> Fuck. So, um... Actually, I had I had this thing already or all completed, and then I started screwing in this idle adjust. Not idle adjust, but um, yeah, I think it's an idle adjust. And um, I was paying attention to something else. My dad and I were watching a movie, and at the same time, and I screwed the new one in so far that it actually went in through the hole in the carburetor and got stuck and just crunched it so he had to go yeah there it is ooh, ooh, ooh. so yeah look at that fucked up good and proper so <clears throat> anyway he took a chance and uh... and this is after a good crown royal too and uh... drilled it out and actually found a drill bit that was small enough and was able to drill out the the brass because I, we could not pick it out no matter what we did and got it out and now I'm gonna use uh, the uh, the old needle that's still in really good condition just with the new spring and I'm not gonna tighten it up I'm gonna wait until things happen later so um, the seals on this one fortunately on each side um, here we're good but on the other two carbs the seals were cracked so can't really make much more progress after uh, from that I can put stuff in but no oh well so I gotta order those and I think that's about about it so um, anyway <coughs> things are happening and we're in the middle of winter here now so not in a big hurry but uh, onwards and upwards, thanks for watching.